Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. This is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Leo. Leo, Leo the Lion. I hope that you guys are doing absolutely, positively amazing. I'm having to use an old microphone. I accidentally dropped, tripped, stepped on the microphone. <laughs> was not good. It was actually a very bad day. <laughs> but that's okay. I had an old microphone. I won't know if the sound was okay until I'm done with all these videos. So if there's a sound issue, please bear with it for a little while. Thanks a bunch. This is going to be a nine card spread for the month of October 2018. And for some reason, I'm having trouble shuffling for you. There we go. All right, Leo. Nine card spread. The first column is going to be past. That could be yesterday, last week, last month, last year. Second column is going to be present. Somebody's in solitude mode, contemplating something. So the second row will be oh, in King of Swords. Somebody's. My goodness, stop this. Leo, stop. You will be able to speak. Okay, better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, somebody's like impatient today. <laughs> somebody's impatient. And the third row will be future. I expect that it's going to occur either in October 2018, since this is a reading for October. See, you guys have a real chaotic energy right now. Mm. Very chaotic energy. I'm not liking that at the moment. Very chaotic energy. Chaotic, chaotic, chaotic. Maybe this is because your left is the second to the last, second to the last sign today, Leo. Your energy is crazy, crazy whacked out. Crazy whacked out energy. Okay. All right, Leo. Now I'm feeling a little bit more calmness from you. Thank you. Thank you for being patient. All right. Since you're impatient, I'm going to turn these all over and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> I have been pulling them over one by one, but And showing the cards of the <laughs> but apparently you guys want to do this differently that's all right I have no trouble with that and this is okay so this is not surprising right we have this like impatient energy that I was feeling while shuffling the cards Leo and central to your reading is the chariot that's that quick movement forward that is not a coincidence not a coincidence, one bit. <laughs> Excuse the camera. It's telling me my battery's low. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the battery will hold out for this. That is not a coincidence. 
you are moving forward quickly, 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 and confidently, Leo. Now you could be dealing with a Cancer. This card has to do with Cancer. Death has to do with Scorpio. Strength is your card, Leo. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful partnership. I didn't see that right away. Star card is Aquarius. We have a lot of different energies in here. Knight of Pentacles. It's also a Leo, it can also be a Leo energy or a Virgo. Okay, so what we have in the recent past or, you know, distant past, whatever is on your mind, heart, and soul here, Leo, we have that you were a need for you to leave the past behind in order to transform for your future, to move forward in the future. The butterfly is about transformation. This is about beautiful new beginnings. That's the death card. The king of pentacles is a very steady force. It's once again another confident card. A lot of confident cards here. He's very calm. He's very experienced, you know, determined. He never gives up on anything. The King of Pentacles never gives up. And then we have that Four of Pentacles energy. That Four of Pentacles energy is, you know, it's it's fearing that you're going to lose something, so you, you hold on to something too tightly. It's not accepting change. So I see here, Leo, that whatever sort of change and transformation was occurring in your life, um, you are not going to back down from. You're allowing it to happen in your life. You understand that it needs to happen in your life for stability, but you're having some trouble accepting the change. The transformation involves a relationship and a wish, a wish fulfillment. Not accepting the change also involves a relationship. It's, it's almost like, you know, you're resisting the change. You may be resisting the person. Maybe you recognize this could be, this is a soulmate card often. So it, it's possible, Leo, that you recognize that this person has the potential to be, they could be the one. You could have recognized that they're the one, you know, the one, um, that they have the potential for long-term capabilities in your life, uh, long-term happiness with them, and you're resisting that change because it's it makes it's very fearful, you know, it's, it's it fills you with fear, but it's a necessary transformation in order to strengthen this bond which is already extremely it's already a deep connection it's very strong and this is telling you that you need to be you need to have strength and endure and and know that you need to stop resisting this person resisting this person is serving you no good in order for you to have growth here both in yourself because of this transformation and growth in your relationship you need to stop resisting this person and you actually need to move forward towards this wish fulfillment with this person. Now, Leo, I see that you're you're currently currently exhibiting the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, which is that he's he you know he knows what he wants. He's unwavering. He moves extremely slow. You got two movement cards that are opposing. Slow movement, fast movement. It's almost like that the chaotic energy I was feeling with your cards. You don't know if you need to move slow or you need to move fast. You're thoroughly confused. Thoroughly confused, Leo. But yet you know what you want. But you're confused as to how to go about it. And you're not letting the other person in at all. Not letting them in.
You're expecting them to admire you for this effort, though. But yet, you're not showing an effort. You're not showing an effort. But you're expecting to be admired for the effort that you are showing. So what effort is it that you're showing, Leo, that you're expecting for this other person to give you praise for? You know, Leo is known for needing needing that praise and acceptance and assurance from their significant other. From everybody, really. And uh, here you are. This is, you know, the victory lap of the chariot. You're expecting them to praise you for your efforts. But I see, I don't see an effort. I see resisting them. Getting in your own head, feeling like you need to be strong. Not taking action. Not letting them in. Perhaps you're expecting them to praise you for the fact that you have the ability to be resourceful, to be a provider, to be a steady force in their life, to be confident and calm. And that's all fine and dandy, but you know, if you're not going through the transformation you need to make in order to help this relationship, and you're not willing to figure out that you need to move forward at a steady pace, not super fast, not you know, at a dead standstill, if you're not willing to let them in, then why should you receive praise simply because you're there? Something to think about. I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I'm just reading what the cards say. The star here is not only a wish card, but it's, it's a card of healing and hope. So, you have tremendous hope that this transformation will help this relationship. But you also need healing from something from your past. There's something from your past which is causing you to be guarded that you need to be healed from. You need self-love and healing in this situation. And perhaps that's something that needs to be communicated to this person. Because if it's not, there's going to be heartbreak between both of you. Both of you will feel heartbroken, which is why that communication needs to occur. This is a card of hope, and this is a card of hope. Although this doesn't look like a card of hope, it actually is. These flowers here are directly behind her. She doesn't see them. The castle is a short walk outside the door. She doesn't see it. She's looking at the pain. You're focusing on the past and the pain and what you're, you know, afraid of. The fact that you're trying to resist this because it, it looks like it's too good to be true. And that could cause heartbreak for both of you. Real, real, real important, Leo, that you let the past go. You allow your time, yourself time and space to heal, but that you stop resisting this. You need to open up. Open up for this person and um, communicate. Move at a steady pace. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Be strong. Okay, Leo, let's see what the mystical wisdom oracle cards have to say for you for October. I'm making a mess on this table. Look at this. Leo, 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 October 2018. We got two. We have self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. This is really important. It's not necessarily telling you to walk away from this person, but what it is saying is not to be codependent. You know, you need self-love and healing first in order to be able to give to this person, but you need to communicate that that's what you need. Because if you don't communicate that that's what you need, you're going to end up with heartbreak. And you need to follow your intuition. Trust your intuition, Leo. I know that's something that you're typically not used to doing, but you need to trust your intuition in this circumstance. Let's see what the Romance Angels deck has to say for you, Leo. This is absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading for you. If you look at the positives, it's a beautiful reading. Don't focus on the negatives, which is what you're doing. <laughs> Now's the time to be positive, Leo. Okay. 
Leo, Leo, October 2018, October 2018. Got two. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So I definitely see that you are trying to remain in control here. You need to let go of those control issues. And forgiving and learning as you release and heal. What was I just talking about? <laughs> Healing the past. As you release and heal the past. This past. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present. I was just telling you that. Super, super important. All right, Leo. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so so that we can stay connected in the future. And I will see you again soon.